Here we go. Basically, you see how they're just dropping. But this will give you a better perspective. I mean, that was less than a minute. And it actually cost, cost nothing to do. Everybody, welcome back to the Grow Family Network. And today I wanna show you a real, 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 super, super easy way to kill wasps. Now I don't condone killing wasps that are not bothering you, right? That's not like up on your house, going uh, through your windows, trying to get inside. You do have a lot of wasps that like to get on the window sills, and then of course they find their way inside the house this is going to be real easy you don't have to buy those chemicals from the big box stores the little shooting cans all you have to do is what you already have i don't want to show that side it doesn't matter the reason why i'm not showing the brand it doesn't matter if you're getting palmolive dawn ajax any kind of soap actually works with this this is all you need soap kill any wash and I'm gonna show you stick around stick around like one or two more minutes I'm gonna show you how easy it works what it does I have no idea I know that I've been using this method for at least the last 10 years easily where did I get it from I can't remember somebody told me what how to use this and that's what you see here I'm just mixing any kind of soap any kind of water um, this one is a little bit down now you want to make sure you're using the spout I've had times too where I've actually just put some in a cup and just threw it on the little nest it works but if you want to have a little bit more control like the spray you know they got like the 25 foot range or whatever you want to have a little bit more control then you want to have you want to have that that's where that comes in that little bit of hole put a lot up in it I'll show you exactly what to do. You can't really overdo it. Um, so what I like to do first, to keep the soap suds from just going everywhere, fill it with water. I'm gonna show you how hard. It's kind of like how grandma used to do whenever the, the soap was down to the end and she would like get that last little bit of soap out the bottom. That's the consistency of the water and soap you kind of want. Look like it's off. Anyway, I didn't turn the water all the way on or it's out. Come back. I turned on the wrong hose. So here we go. Let me just finish it up. Put it on just a little bit. Finish filling this bad boy up. And this doesn't really matter. This, the amount of water to soap isn't what's going to kill it, but you do want some let me turn it up a little bit more. You do want some soap and water. You can run the soap out if you want. That's about where you want it to stop at right there. Take your soap, add just a little bit. That's all you need. Just enough of soap to get up in here to make it soap and water. Basically put your top back on and you're ready to spray. Let's see how that went? Let's see how high. Basically that gives you about, about five or 10 feet um, standing away from the wash. So just say if you had wash right up under there, I'm gonna show you, you basically, you basically give it a good squirt and redo as much soap and water as you want over and over and over. As the wasps come back to the nest, you can hit them again. As they come back, usually it's late in the evening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you actually a, me doing this process. I'm gonna show you how the wasps react. And I'm not a, I'm not a wasp killer, but sometimes they get so close to the house and you can't cut your grass, you can't do anything without them stinging you. So, right, so I don't normally, I don't normally kill wasps unless I use the, try to knock the nest down and then hopefully they'll leave but sometimes they just keep coming back coming back coming back and in order to be able to cut the grass and things like that we got to get rid of them so 
this is the easiest way. This is going to provide all the force you need. Basically, it's soap and water, and I'll show you what it does. Like I say, if you don't have to kill them, just knock the nest down if you can. But if you can't, then this is the cheapest, freest way you can find. And basically, all you do is just use this soap bottle to shoot it directly at the nest where they're at. Hopefully in the evening time when everybody's back home, but if you can't, just a little bit. So go ahead on and put it that way, truck. And here we go. Basically, you see how they're just dropping. Now that you kind of got one that's coming home, <laughs> it's always somebody that's out. So, if you can get him to kind of sit down on it, if not, you'll have to wait again. You're going to kind of see what's going on. See if I can get him. I probably won't be able to. Yeah. Hard to get them unless they're actually sitting on the nest. So, you kind of have to just wait a while. I see he's on the ground over there. I might be able to get him on the ground. I doubt it. They're kind of agitated now. Uh, and I'll show you how it looks. Up close. Get my little children in the window. Hey, y'all. But I'll show you how it looks up close. And they don't go anywhere. Basically, you can see that was less than less than a minute. I think the soap and water does some kind of... Now you want to take that nest and get that nest down. Um, soap and water does some kind of suffocation process. I've learned this from... I can't remember who... But it was this old, and I know the video is kind of murky, but it's it's a kind of old process. But this will give you a better perspective. I mean, that was less than a minute. And it actually cost, cost nothing to do. So, that's... That's a good start. Yeah, so you saw how that went. You saw, I mean, it's it's like almost instant kill. I don't want to like attack nature, but sometimes you just got to get them away from there. It may be easier if you can knock the nest down, but they'll keep coming back, coming back. Sometimes you got to get rid of that nest when they make a home that close to your house. Now, anywhere else away from the house, I don't use this method. Um, but up close to the house, instead of paying 5 or $6 for a can of wash spray, I'm going to use this. So, thank y'all for watching the Go Family Network. And as always, save a little money. Trust some of these old practices. And I got my son has come outside <laughs> safe with no wash bites or no wash things. So, as always, grow, grow, grow. Peace.